Hi, this video is here to showcase the behind the scenes work on our reed and paper sculptures for my grade six students. We started off with planning how to create a sculpture that is expressive of one of the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. And they had to choose two and convey that by using certain materials. We used reed, which is used for lantern making or um, basket weaving, and wire, a little bit of tape, and paper. And you can see we stored the works hanging from the ceiling in my classroom to give a little bit more space. Um, and they built on the sculptures by adding uh, different techniques. So they had to choose which techniques would work well for their idea. They had to decide uh, whether they wanted to wrap parts with wire, whether they wanted to quote skin or use traditional lantern making techniques with paper mache and transparent tracing paper or clear paper, tissue paper in some cases. This sort of skinned effect that would distort or alter some of the shapes of the reeds and how challenging that could be depending on what you wanted to do. So the students all tried to convey their ideas with um, these limited materials and limited colors to create an expressive abstract sculpture. And they had to work together with their peers in the space to try to understand how to do things and collaborate. And every day at the end of class, we would hang them up back on their hooks and have a little bit of an obstacle course in the classroom, but it was always fun uh, to kind of dodge around all the sculptures. So here's a quick look at some of the process, some of the behind the scenes and watching the sculptures evolve day by day by day. And at the end of this video, you get to see all 60 some odd students and their sculptures really quick. Um, we work together to try to uh, create a little gallery exhibition. Here's a compilation of all the finished works.